Okay, so for the past, I don't know how long, I've been on the fence about which camera, sling bag, or messenger bag to purchase for myself. I ordered the PGY Tech One Mo. They also have the One Go. But uh, I went with the One Mo instead of the One Go. So I'm going to see what this, this, this bag looks like, man. I've been waiting for Amazon. I'm sitting here like a, like a kid waiting for Santa Claus to come. So, what do you need from Costco? A rotisserie. One rotisserie? You wanna go? One baby, the shrimp, the tempura, stick out one thing. I like to have something that's accessible. Maybe I can uh, wear it to the front, wear it to the side, you know, easily dig in the bag, grab my camera, grab the accessories, grab the batteries, whatever I need and keep it pushing, running gun. Okay, so it's here. The PGY Tech One Mo Sling Bag. And I've been waiting for a long time to get myself a sling bag. And I'm hoping that this one doesn't disappoint. Um... What does that say? Life is what you carry. Nice little package in here. The box is a little bit smaller than what I expected, but um, that's a good thing. All right, so let's get this thing open. See what this bag look like. This is my little unboxing knife. It's a little dagger. <laughs> wrapped up in this nice PGY Tech tissue paper. I don't know if you can see the, 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 the paper that is wrapped up in, but it has this PGY Tech all over the tissue paper. Another, you know, they did pretty good with the branding. Let's see what we got here, baby. You know, I've been looking for a slow bag for a while. And, um, you know, I really wanted that, uh, Peak Design 10 liter sling bag that I was looking at. The other PGY Tech One Go, which is dope. And Bellroy has another one that I think is a 10 liter, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not really sure. And, um, this is the One Mo, not the one go, the one mo, and uh, right on, right out of the bag, you can feel how premium it is. This thing is really nice, really nice texture. You can tell it's waterproof. Ooh, nice smooth zippers. Just to give you an idea of the versatility of this bag, how much it can hold, um, I'm gonna show you what my everyday carry camera bag would most likely look like um, on a regular uh, day where I would go out and try to shoot, get some footage, get some B-roll or whatever. So this first top pocket right here, on the top, I would most likely have some cables in there, maybe a passport, um, my license, um, just little odds and ends in here. I would put just to keep, free up some space in my pockets. That's probably what I would do and that area right there um then let's open it up on the inside you see you have this compartment right here which is for the batteries um so you know i'm gonna have some batteries in here um a few sony batteries these uh this pocket inside here actually has like one two three four five little um little pockets inside to add batteries but there's only um three little indicators here for the battery uh to see if your battery is full or if it's dead and i like this little function right here so you'll never forget like if your battery dies throw it in there switch it to red so you know that that battery is dead and you're good to go so 
that's a cool little function and it feels premium too man it's not like a little cheap little thing this is a nice little rubberized um piece right here it has these little ridges on it on the button so it feels really cool then i would probably throw a little something underneath on the bottom because it does have a lot of space this is a stretchy material so you can fit um uh, you know decent amount of things in there but i want i wouldn't overdo it with this area right here but i just keep my little handy dandy shutter remote if you don't got one of these shutter remotes and you got a uh, sony camera um you're missing out i think everybody should go and buy one of these i think i paid about 7.99 and on amazon for this shutter remote and i might just go back on there uh and get me a few more just to have around because those things are clutch boom now let's get down into the bag right so i got a full frame camera in here i got a nato rail on the top I got the cage on it. I got um, Arca Swiss uh, mount, uh, plate on the bottom. With the lens. And as you can see, no problem with room to spare. Now I got two other lenses in here. I'm a pri I, I, I usually use prime lenses. Um, for when I'm out, man, I just love prime lenses. So I might just take one lens, however you want to do it. I just put two lenses in here just so you can see how much this thing can actually hold. Then I have my camera monitor in there as well. And just to show you, this has a cage on it too. So I got a camera monitor with the cage on it. I got a camera with the cage on it. Two lenses. Right over here, I got the iPad. So it's big. It's it's large enough to where you can fit. This is the 10.5 inch iPad. So if you have an iPad Mini or you know not a crazy big iPad, I don't think it's gonna hold a, a 12 inch iPad or anything like that. But you can get a nice tablet or iPad in there. So if I took all of those accessories off, you I'll probably save a lot more space. You know, you 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 do it the way you want, but it comes with um, all of these dividers. I only got two in there, but it comes with about four or five of these dividers, which are pretty dope. They got this like little origami uh, shape to it, with these nice little designs. Um, Velcro is extra strong. Really nice touch, nice feel. You can fix it however you want to fix it. Sometimes I may, I may throw the monitor in there. Might want to throw a little light in there. Um, a flash in there. It's really up to you, man. And and, and how you how you want to uh, pack your bag for whatever it is that you're going out to do or create, right? So that's the inside. And, and this is expanded um, to the 9 liter. So look how much space is still left in there. Nice cushion strap. And it has these little belt loops right here where you can put, um, I don't know. Nice buckle. Like, what is this buckle? Like, what the? This is fire. Looks like it's pretty much easy to adjust. Uh, nice branding right here. PGY Tech. Front of the bag, it has like this little sandwich part where you can put your gimbal stabilizer right there. Right here, I have the, the Crane M3. You can put this thing right here, tuck it right in, tighten them up. You can bring your tripod too, because we have these little loops down here that are pretty sturdy. Nice little straps. So you can do that. You can have your gimbal and you can have your tripod. Boom, covered. In front of this, 
pocket right here. There's another pocket. Uh, another pocket so where you could throw some more stuff in there. Um, you could add some more stuff. So this this pot this actual little sandwich piece right here in the front is an actual pocket as well. So you could throw some things in there. Not only is it incredibly versatile, um, incredibly useful, and, and built uh, really uh, strong and really well built. Not only is it all of the above, but it's only $89. And that's half the price of most of those bags that's out there. And I'm talking about the Bellroy bag and uh, the, the Peak Design bag and the Nomadic Peter McKinnon sling bag. And I'm talking about all the bags in this class. This bag is the cheapest and I feel like the most versatile out of all of them. Um, I haven't had all of them. I haven't tried all of them. But um, from what I've seen, this is the one. Oh, yeah. And then it has a little strap on the back right here. Handle. Where you can hold it. And it is, man, I'm telling you, bro, this thing is built really well and you got these little straps on the side i don't know what you know i, I guess if you want to strap it to a suitcase or something like that or add some uh, carabiner or you know i don't know motorcycle i don't know put it on somewhere but at the end of the day this thing is loaded with features it's only 90 bucks and man am i happy I made this purchase, and I'm not saying this because I'm not sponsored by anybody or anything like that, but I do have an affiliate link that I will put in the bottom for all of y'all if you want to purchase it. Um, I may receive a commission that's only to help my channel and keep making videos like this for you and keep putting y'all up on something. I'm out. This thing is nice, man. Fire.